Hi, I'm Mark Worsley. You're watching the Sports Round. Here's what's coming up. We've got the latest from the FA Cup replays. Djokovic hits back at allegation claims. We have the latest from Melbourne. And Chelsea look forward to Pato. Let's start on the football where Liverpool and Spurs both book their place in the next round of the FA Cup after their respective wins in their FA Cup replays. Jurgen Klopp's side brushed past Exeter City, winning by three goals to nil. As Spurs got revenge over Leicester, who beat them recently in the Premier League outing, with a comfortable 2-0 victory at the King Power Stadium. And now over to tennis, where Novak Djokovic has hit back at claims that he deliberately lost a match back in 2007. An Italian newspaper has published allegations about the Serbians' defeat in Paris nine years ago. The world number one has said, it's not true, it's not supported by facts, evidence or any proof. Djokovic, who admitted on Monday he had been offered $200,000 in 2006 to throw away a match in St. Petersburg a month before the Paris Masters. He refused to be a part of it and inevitably withdrew also from the Russian event. Staying in tennis, Maria Sharapova and Serena Williams moved another step closer to facing each other at the Australian Open. The number one and number five seeds respectively are due to play in the quarterfinals after the pair won comfortably on day three. However, shocks in this year's Australian Open continue as former Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova crashed out. Andy Murray is also through to the next round of the Australian Open after his straight sets victory over Alexandra Zeriev. Murray won 6-1, 6-2, 6-3. And moving back to football, Chelsea have set up talks with Corinthians for the signing of their striker, Alexandra Pato. Chelsea may try to seal the former AC Milan striker on loan with a view to a permanent three-year deal. Well, that's the latest for me in today's sports round. I'll see you again tomorrow.